This video will go through the impact that our sediment pollution has on the crown of thorn sea star and the corals in our reefs. The crown of thorn sea star feeds on a wide variety of corals. In a healthy reef, coral eating sea stars are beneficial because they can control growth for faster growing corals such as staghorn, which gives a chance for slower growing corals such as brain corals to grow. This enables the diverse reef with lots of coral and fish to thrive. A problem arises when there are too many crown of thorn sea stars and they overpopulate an area which kills all the corals. This has been seen in countries such as Thailand, Japan and the Philippines, where massive amounts of corals are stripped to their bone because of massive outbreaks in, coral, in crown of thorn numbers. We can prevent this and help the corals. Spikes in crown of thorn numbers can occur because of sediment pollution from our farms, cities, houses and landfill. Sediment is the fine dirt or silt that settles in the bottom of lakes, which is harmful to animals and plants. Pollutants can settle in this silt and cause algae growth, which can be found to trigger the spawning in the crown of thorn sea star. This pollution can come from things like our fertilizer and pesticides, waste from our pets or suds from our drains, which mixes with the sediment or dirt in rivers and flows into our ocean. We can help by keeping our ocean clean. Reduce, reuse, or recycling our household waste will reduce the amount going to landfill and potentially in the nearby silt. Using compost in the garden will help stop soil being washed away in the coming sediment. Washing your car at a car wash instead of on the driveway will stop soapy water from going into the waterways because these places usually treat their water. And when cleaning the driveway, instead of hosing, you could sweep it. And by planting trees near a water source, you can also block polluted sediment from seeping into the water. If you see crown of thorn sea stars, you can report them on the Eye of the Reef app from the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, or you can become part of a control program. By doing these, we can help control the crown of thorns numbers. A 2012 study found that the crown of thorn sea star is a major factor to the decline in coral cover across areas in the Great Barrier Reef. Millions of dollars from the Australian government have been invested into programs to help control the numbers of these sea stars, which includes the culling and studies to help manage them. By controlling our waste, we can reduce outbreaks, minimise the need for culling, keep our corals safe and our reef happy. Check out the links in the description to find out more.